All right, here we go. Patreon request. This is a big one. This is a big one. Thank you, Isaac Mendez. This is his third month in a row. He's done a, uh, pa a Patreon request for an album review, and all three of them have been Buckethead, and the first two I've thoroughly enjoyed, so I suspect I'll get the same enjoyment from this album. This is Kaleidoscalp. Kaleidos yeah. Kaleidoscalp is the name. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm saying it terribly, aren't I? Um, anyways, here we go, and I would like to thank... Oh, I forget his name. I apologize, but somebody on my... I used to have ads pop up when I'm on YouTube, and I, and I used to, I have pop-up blocker, right? But somebody led me in the correct direction. Instead of people just yelling at me, people came up with, somebody came up with an actual proper solution. So let me just give this little advertisement to AdGuard. Look at this. I've only had it up for a few hours. Look how many things it's already blocked. So AdGuard is a free Chrome extension that is very easy to install onto your Chrome. It does it automatically. You just say, yes, install this, and it does. So already in, uh, yeah, it's already, anyways, there you go. That's uh, this video brought to you. Look, look, I'm doing an ad for an ad blocker. Anyways, AdGuard is the one. Now we're going to see if it works. This will be a test because this is an hour long video. And we'll see if this does in fact work or if I have installed properly. So bear with me if an ad does pop up. But so far it looks like it's working with the other videos that I've done. Okay, here we go. So this is a first time listen. So if you're new to my channel, I do not explain anything. Meaning, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know how to play any instruments. I don't know how anything works. I don't know how people do the stuff that they do. This is literally just me listening to this album for the first time, and my natural reactions will be played out of my face as I listen to Buckethead's album Kaleidoscope. Um, if you want to know about Buckethead and know about this album, you can Google it. This is just literally a first-time listen channel, and uh, yeah, I want to thank again Isaac Mendez, who wants to chill with me as we listen to this album together and if you want to join us join us and if you're new to buckethead i'd recommend checking this out too because from what i've heard from him so far he's pretty amazing all right let's go and i'm just gonna be checking periodically to make sure i'm recording because it's a long recording sound coming in good good okay so it's got the name of the songs here looks like frankenstein's lavatories So every now and then I'm going to check to see what song we're on. Not because I'm wanting it to end, I'm just curious what the song title is. Different than the other one. Ooh, heavier. Coming. I must be sped up, I'm not sure. That was fast, double bass. But I'm sure there's people that can do that. This 
one's much more experimental than the other two that I listened to. Very heavier, heavier too. When I'm checking the time, I'm not looking to see when it's over. I'm just looking at the song titles. That's all. Okay, so that one. Stun Pike and the Jack in the Box Head. So this is a much heavier album than the other two that I... I think I said that already. Sound. It's very that's the buckethead signature sound there. Oh. I think I mentioned to Isaac if there's a a heavy bucket ahead album, this might be why he suggested this one.
It's a heavy album. Music Box enters. Sounds I've never heard before in my life. Much more experimental this album. Heavy too. my uh, favorite one so far of the three. There you go. I like that. Ah, it ended. All right. Breakfast Cyborg. <laughs> I love these titles. Sure, let's call it Breakfast Cyborg. Why not? So far, that ad blocker looks like it's working. Thank you to that person. Let's see who it is. There's a 
bucket hat, bucket head break dancing that he does. I've seen him do that on stage. Next one's a quick song. It's called the bronze, the bronze bat. Last ride, the Bozmo, the Bozo Mobile. Bozo Mobile.
<laughs> That's a funny song. All right. Rack maintenance. Here we go. On the hallucinogens. All right. Came out in 2005. Okay. Fifteenth studio album. Early in his career, really, compared to his 300 or whatever.
John Zorn's label. I, I know who that is because of uh, Mike Patton's work. Bucket had be weird. This is the experimental stuff. Just looking at the album of the Emperor. Okay, this is a uh, pylon ship. When you're getting that groove, they always on this album, anyways, you keep stopping.
was a fun one. All right, this one should be Citadel. All right.
Banjo going? Buckethead Banjo. Ukulele. Okay, before we start the next one, I'm glad I did some reading. I'm nothing but a professional. I'm nothing but a professional. Anyway, so I'm glad I did some reading on here. Good old Wikipedia. So the next song we're about to listen to, guys, is called The Android of Notre Dame. And this song, as I said, we just read it, is a tribute to Pantera's guitarist Dimebag Daryl, who was shot and killed during a concert. The song was first, and I, if anyone knows who that is, you should, well, if you don't know who that is, look up Dimebag Daryl, and you'll know, see him on YouTube, and see the influence that he was on the um, heavy metal world. Uh... So the song was first called Dime, which is a popular nickname of Daryl, and was released shortly after the incident on Buckethead's webpage without any cost, and later then released on this album with tracks of circuit band instruments added to it. So this is the thing I don't understand what a circuit... Like I said before, guys, I, I, I don't know anything about music, like, other than what it sounds like, and what a ukulele and a banjo sounds like. I don't know what circuit band means. Uh, so I apologize for that, guys. It must be the weird sounds. I don't know. People in many of the comments below can fill me in. Uh, you don't have to if you don't want to. It's fine. I can Google it too. So there we go. The song takes its name from the fifth installment in the Guinea Pig series of Japanese horror films. The Guinea Pig series of Japanese. It's the fifth one. Jeez. Okay. So that's where it gets the name from. What an interesting combination. It takes its title from a Japanese horror film series and it's dedicated to Dimebag Daryl. Okay. Rest in peace, brother. Here we go, here's your song. Acid heavy. 
Bughead do these kind of souls very often. Kind of bluesy. glad again I read it on this one. So Whoops. Okay, I messed up, but I'll go to the last song here. So the last song is She Sells Seashells by The Slaughterhouse, and it's two minutes and 40 seconds long, and then we'll skip four and a half or four minutes a little bit to the hidden track. So that's how this one's going to work. My apologies, guys. There we go. Did I get it? Bucket had shown his tender side.
nice song. <laughs> this old man really likes this one, you know. It's a nice track. The chaos that is Kaleidoscope. This is really nice. Very soulful. Interesting. Okay, I really like that. So uh, we're going to skip for the hidden track. I wonder if the hidden track's going to be heavy. Or is it just going to be... sound stuff probably. Yeah, like it's almost it's telling a story through sound.
feedback. Okay, so I loved it. I mean, the thing about Buckethead is, is he, well, I even I doesn't I don't know anything about music how it's done. I don't know how any of it's done. And uh, but with Buckethead, he, you you can tell that something different's going on. You know, he's a, a, a he's a he's a chicken buck he's a chicken bucket ahead of the rest of us. Uh, there's this is 2005. It's 15 years old, but it just sounds like he could have done this today. There's no real, I guess, sound or yeah, limit or age or era that Buckethead lives in. But anyways, I uh, quite enjoyed it. It's I think of the three that I've uh, that you've given me, uh, Isaac. I think this might be my least favorite. Not because well, the other two that you gave me, I, I found myself grooving a lot more with it. This was a uh, I, I would say difficult listen, but I found myself like. You know, with this, I interrupted a lot, you know, so I'm getting to the groove and then he would stop it and then do his experimental sounds or whatever. That's probably what the, uh, oh, sorry, I closed, they called it, what was it called again? Circuit bending. So circuit, the album is notable for its circuit bent instruments and effects. And I like this, creating an overall sound that is both bizarre and unique. And I agree with that. So I, I'm glad I experienced it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, like that's what I, again, what I love about this channel is people telling me, hey, listen to this, listen to that. Just experiment, sorry, to experience different sounds, songs, artists. Uh, I enjoy my personal journey listening to different music. Uh, I don't know if this is an album I would go back to compared to the other two that you gave me. I did like the hard parts and the driving parts. So there's another Buckethead album that's a little bit more less experimental and more just straightforward, like driving rock with solos or whatever. I mean, whatever you want to throw at me. But that's what I'm just giving you my honest uh, opinion. Though I really, it was you, it was fun to listen to the unique stuff that he brings to the table. Uh, it's not something I would go back and listen to. I know there's a lot of music nerds, I don't know how else to say it, that really like that kind of stuff. It's just not my thing. Um, but yeah. I enjoy the experience though, and I enjoy the ride, and I enjoy his uh, his creativity and his uniqueness for sure, and bizarreness, which makes Buckethead Buckethead. I mean, he wears a chicken bucket on his head. That's amazing. It's awesome. All right, thanks, thanks guys, thanks for watching, and uh, if you like Buckethead, and I hope you liked uh, what I had to say about it, and enjoyed uh, listening with me for a first time listen. A very unique album, and I did, enjoy, but I did enjoy it. Uh, the biggest criticism I have again is just the interruptions when the, the driving force of ha was happening. It's like, oh, it stopped. I just wanted more of it. That's all. That's not a bad thing, is it?